We're back with the latest in Radiance Hood representations like Gaussian splatting from last week. The big story is that nerfs are getting a massive boost in rendering rates thanks to Instant NGP's 2.0 release. Rendering rates are increasing by five times, though I saw higher increases on some of my data sets going all the way up to and past 100 frames per second. Train times are also going way faster at one and a half times the speed, with Thomas Muller updating both Instant NGP and Tiny CUDA NN simultaneously. This puts the most commonly used nerf method well into the real-time rendering rates. KR Pano added Gaussian spotting support with version 1.23, and it's actually an incredible tool. I spent a ton of time in it yesterday, and I think you guys will find it to be a really great storytelling tool. It's super, super helpful to also be able to compare against different methods against one another. The Nerf Studio team released G-Spot 1.5.3, which brings a fully fused bilateral grid for even better reconstruction fidelity. All existing APIs, including 3DGS, 2DGS, and 3DGUT, now support multiple batch dimensions, which enables you to render multiple scenes with multiple cameras. 3DGS e-commerce company Voxello launched their free open beta. You could sign up for access on their website below. Gaussian splatting company Gracia has released a Mac app viewer. VR support is still to come, but hopefully we will see that soon. I also hopped onto the Dell podcast to talk about Radiance Fields and where they may be going. Unity Gaussian Capture has added support for dynamic sequences and lets you push automatically to post shot for training. Be sure to tap the subscribe button to continue to stay up to date with everything that's happening in Gaussian splatting.